Hello and welcome to another instalment from CVR POV. On this channel, our content covers all aspects of cosmetic vehicle repair. This includes textured bumper repairs, scuffs, scrapes, filler work, body shop, smart repair, and in this instalment, deep headlight scratch and scuff removal. This isn't removing oxidation or the yellowing of headlights. Unlike any other video on YouTube, this tutorial shows you how to remove deep scratches, gouges, and scuffs from your headlights and headlamps. This tutorial shows not one, but two methods. Please watch till the end so you can see the amazing results what can be achieved at home. So without wasting any time, let's begin. If the scratches are deep, like the ones in this headlight, then it's a good idea to start with 120 grit. If you haven't got an orbital sander or any kind of sanding tool, don't worry, the exact same process can be done completely by hand. If doing with this by hand, simply wrap around a dedicated sanding block or a suitable piece of wood to sand the surface flat. At this stage, make sure the damage is completely removed. Using the exact same method as above, with either hand or machine, we're going to follow sanding the damage out with 180 grit. Sand the exact same area as before, but feather out slightly further than you did with the 120 grit. Wherever the damage was on the headlight, the following grit method should be used. I recommend 120, 180, 320 and 400. The same grit method applies to both hand and machine. The next stage of the process is to remove the entire UV protective layer from the headlamp. At this stage I am using 600 grit. It is important to remove all the previous finish across the entire front face of the headlamp as this will provide us a uniform finish overall. This includes our original work area, where we originally had the scratch. For the viewers who are watching this video and intending to do it by hand, I recommend at this stage using 600 wet and dry paper. I recommend allowing the wet and dry paper to soak in a bucket with some car shampoo and water. Thoroughly sand the entire surface till it is all completely uniform. Now using the exact same process, it is time to sand the entire surface including the repair area with 1000 grit. With each grit stage, we are aiming to remove all the sanding marks put in by the previous grit. For example, if we started with 180 grit and skipped all the way up to 1000 grit, the 1000 grit would be nowhere near enough to remove the original sanding marks. Check each stage thoroughly to make sure you've removed all the previous grit marks. You will start to notice at this stage that clarity is being restored with each grit stage that we do. I will now show you method one of the finishing process. This is method one of two, so stay tuned to further on the video to see the other method of finishing the repair. I've used the area that was originally damaged as the test piece to demonstrate the first method. Following the 1000 grit, we're using 1500 wet and dry. Using water, or even better, soapy water, sand the area. Wipe with a microfiber or paper towel to check your progress. I recommend using a higher grit than 1500 to finish before polish, but for demonstrative purposes, I will now buff the area that was originally damaged and show you how method one works really well. You can 
can see as I'm polishing that the clarity and shine is being restored back to the surface. As you will see, the damage has been completely removed and an amazing finish has been achieved. The dull area that we see has been left at 1000 grit wet and dry, whereas the sample area has been further sanded with some higher grits and then polished. Stay tuned for method two which is coming up right now. Method two will show you how to not only finish the complete headlight but it will also show you how to add a protective layer of lacquer over the top of the work that we've done. For the purpose of the video, I have re-sanded back to 1000 grit the area that we have just polished up. I am also just scotching all across the headlight around the edges. You can also do this with 1000 grit paper if you don't have any scotch. This is just to make sure that the outer edges have an area that is keyed for the lacquer to stick to. Mask up the surrounding of your headlight and find a suitable space to spray. Prep your area prior to paint application with a degreaser or panel wipe. All surfaces must be clean and free from contamination. When painting, ensure you have a mask and the correct PPE. Using either a spray gun or aerosol, apply your clear lacquer finish to the surface. Not too heavy with the first application, the first coat should be light in coverage. Leave to tack off for a few minutes or the recommended manufacturer's instructions. The second coat should be heavier and more even in coverage. Make sure you cover the entire surface area that we have prepped. The second coat should be the final coat and now your headlight is finished. Any imperfections can be sanded and polished out the day after or after 24 hours. I'm sure you will agree the finish on this headlight is fantastic. Aside from the inconvenience of having to order and refit a different headlight, some modern headlights can cost hundreds and even thousands of pounds. With some elbow grease and a little time and effort, it's amazing what can be achieved at home. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, I think it's got lots of value and if you like it, hit like and also subscribe to my channel.